this freaking way! episode or we're gonna find out that he's dead we know he's dead and we're wondering all the other kids are wondering why is Bryce missing and also apparently the principal is his mother was that new information I don't remember so we are introduced to the new girl and I think she's from South Africa uh, let's go with it. Um, and her and her mom have just come to the States. Wait, this is eight months later, by the way. Shouldn't Chloe have, like, where is this his girlfriend who was pregnant from rape? We're not going to go near that story at all. Just eight months later. Yeah, she had the baby. She's great. Not going to talk about that problem or what... She wanted to do with the baby now that she realizes she's pregnant and, you know, Bryce assaulted her and she stuck by his side. Fucking Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, that's great. But we find out that, you know, this girl has been kind of spying on Bryce through her mother, who's a nurse for senior citizens in their home, and she comes making home visits to Bryce's grandfather, grandmother, grandfather, let's go with grandfather, whatever. And there's this scene that looks like it's freaking pulled out of the slavery times, or like just after slavery times where black women were hired by rich white households to be like underpaid housemaids. I know I'm being completely politically incorrect and I'm, and I'm white as snow, so do something about it. And this picture looks like it's freaking pulled out right out of that time. Like, seriously, it's kind of eerie to see this. It's like something out of the freaking hell! Yeah, that movie. It's just kind of creepy that scene where the where she's walking in with her with her dress that looks like it's from the freaking 1950s and asks the woman if she's doing okay or how we can help her. And it's like gah. It's just unsettling to see these images. And maybe I'm reading way too much into this cuz I'm not woke enough for a society, but that's a black stereotype right there, isn't it? So we find out that, you know, this girl's been spying on Bryce and his family because the mother kind of lets her daughter go swimming in their pool. Yeah, like, the rich white woman's gonna let their daughter, who's like an intercity girl, who's kind of like, middle class and doesn't her and her place doesn't have a pool because she can't afford it and her mom was like immigrating around and stuff and so yeah like does this not feel weird to people at all especially if you like grew up in the ghetto it's like yeah let my poor underprivileged daughter swim in your fancy schmancy pool of course she can. And that image there, you don't really realize it's her in the swims, one-piece swimsuit and the bathing cap. You actually probably think it's someone a lot younger. And the way they frame it, it's more like 
Oh, they're trying to show a softer side to Bryce Walker. He teaches kids to swim. That's literally what it felt like until I realized, oh, wait, this is actually that 17-year-old girl that I told you about. A lot of these kids just come off as fucking autistic. Not that they actually are autistic, but the way they're written is just kind of flat. And, like, she's uber observant of people around and she tries to form conclusions of, um, people's personalities from observing them. Like, this girl's just kind of awkward and weird. Oof. Oof. So, you know, and they all tell the story of, and all the other kids are just kind of, like, gathering together and talking about why Bryce went missing and what they're going to do and what happened. And because Tyler had the gun, they think, oh, maybe Tyler did something. And they're trying to bring Tyler back to the school, even though he tried to shoot up the place because someone decided to bully him so bad he grabbed a fucking gun. Ugh. Like, what is this trying to teach kids here at all? Because you bullied a girl into suicide, your answer is to go kill yourself now. Yes, that's right. This is my prediction. Bryce Walker killed himself. It's kind of British girls and you like bully people and harass people and you freaking drove a girl to suicide. Well, a lot of things drove that girl to suicide, but whatever. You think that the answer that people need to hear is, oh, he should just kill himself. Like, that is the ultimate redemption for this person, for this character. Like, I know Bryce is probably irredeemable, but they should at least, like, have him go to freaking prison. He gets off scot-free, and his decision is to go kill himself? Ah. <sighs> And we're supposed to sympathize with his mother and these other people. And it's just trying to make this person seem human. Like the ants, like it's trying to like say, yes, people who kill themselves after committing heinous crimes are doing the right thing. Just, uh... Can't wait for episode two now.